In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for practice exam four for math 1210, in which case we are given the function f of x equals 5 thirds x cubed plus 19 halves x squared minus 4x plus 11. And we're asked on which of the following intervals is f decreasing. Well, if we want to figure out where the function is decreasing, then we need to figure out where its derivative is negative. So we need to calculate the derivative of the function. Now, these, these fractions here might seem abhorrent to many of us, but it actually turns out it's a saving grace for us. If we calculate the derivative by the usual power rule and such, uh, the derivative is going to look like 5 thirds x cubed. Well, the derivative of x cubed is a 3x squared, so we're going to get 5x squared. When you take the derivative of 19 halves times x squared, you're going to get 19x and the derivative of negative 4x becomes a negative 4. And the derivative of 11, since it's constant, is going to turn out just to be a 0. So we need to, to solve where the derivative is negative. We have to figure out where the derivative is equal to 0. So we have to figure out what the derivative's x-intercepts are. That is what are the critical numbers. So we set this thing equal to 0. Well, since we have a quadratic function, um, it makes sense that we could use the quadratic formula. We could complete the square, or we could try to factor it if possible. I'm going to try factoring it. Notice if I take the first and last coefficient, multiply them together, four times, excuse me, five times negative four is equal to negative 20. I need factors of negative 20 that add to be 19. So my suggestion would be 20 and negative one. Let's try to use those factors. You could try to guess and check a little bit if you wanted to as well, but I'm gonna try to factor this by groups right here. So we have five X squared plus 20 X. That's gonna be my first group. And then you're going to get negative X minus four is my second group. So factoring these things by groups, uh, then the first group you can take out a 5x, that leaves behind x plus 4. From the second one, take away a negative 1, that leaves behind x plus 4. And so we see the derivative, f prime of x, is going to look like 5x minus 1 times x plus 4. This is important uh, because with the derivative in hand, we can then find the critical numbers, which we get 1 fifth and negative 4. So we can now compare our sign chart in which case we're gonna label the sign chart based upon these critical numbers. We get negative four and one fifth. So we have to identify where is the derivative negative. Um, we can plug in test values, like we could pick zero, which is between negative four and one fifth. We pick one that's bigger, negative 10. You could plug in some test values. Um, there's many ways one could approach this. The fact that the derivative is quadratic and the leading coefficient here is a five. I know my parabola is gonna look something like this. It's concave up because the leading coefficient is positive, uh, and therefore it's the first derivative is going to look positive, negative, positive. So where is the first derivative negative? That'll be between negative four and one fifth. That'll be exactly where the function's decreasing, and so we see that the correct answer would then be b, the interval from negative four to one fifth.